who decides what medicine I have? Well, in, in theory, that will still be NHS England deciding that because the CRGs will set the, the standards. So effectively, from the discussions I've been party to, what's actually commissioned, it still remains with NHS England. How it's commissioned is where the local flavour um, has an opportunity to perhaps um, differ from place to place. Um, so you might have, you know, one particular ICB where that may be being commissioned where it's all going into one tertiary site, whereas another ICB could say, well, actually, we will have a hub and spoke model uh, and we'll, you know, have the maybe the initial appointment at the tertiary site and then all the ongoing management will be much more local. Um, but in terms of what the standards are for that service, those will remain um, defined by NHS England through the CRGs. Um, and equally, um, coming back to that point about the historical postcode lottery we used to have, um, there won't be any opportunity for any local ICB to decommission a specialised service. Um, so it, it's not going to be sort of delegated in that manner where you've got entire freedom to say, well, actually, we've been given this money and, and now we're going to do what we like with it and we're not going to spend any on it, any of it in the, in the area that it was actually given to us for.